Hey, this is Aaron with Simple Ticks. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do an embeddable button um, so people can buy tickets directly on your own website. So here's an example. I'm going to click register now, and I get this pop up directly on the site, and I can buy tickets directly here. Um, so in this video, we're going to show you how to do it. All right, let's dive in. All right, so I downloaded this free CSS template um, somewhere on the internet. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. And basically, it's a free CSS template. I'm going to swap out these two buttons with our own SimpleTix um, embeddable ticket button there. Um, so the very first thing I'm going to do is look at my um, the CSS file for it right here. And this is it. And basically, this is where they have two buttons right now. And we're going to remove this and add um, the SimpleTix button. So what you're going to want to do is when you go into Simple Text, you want to go to events and then click on the specific event you want to do the embeddable widget for and then click embeds and you'll get your embeds code here. Um, now there's two flavors of doing it. One is just the button where you can just put the button on your site and people can do the checkout. The other one is a direct embed and that will include like, you know, pretty much the calendar view and all the tickets view directly on your site. Um, but for today's demo, we're going to go with a more modern button. So I'll select this type. And then I want to copy this code right here. So I'll click copy on it. Now it's copied to my clipboard. All right, so now I'm going to jump into the website where um, we're going to embed it. Now I'll remove the two buttons that are there right now and I'll paste them in right here. This is the new button. Now, if I want to polish it up, um, so for example, this is powered by Simple Text. We don't really want that on our page. So I'll delete that. And um, yeah, so I'll hit save and we'll, we'll do a couple different saves um, on this. To, to sort of you know tweak it to match exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so here's our button right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and click it just to make sure it's working. And it works perfectly fine, cool. All right, so the next step is to style this more so it matches our template a little bit better. So the very first thing I'll do is I will put in some CSS code right here as a style. And basically I'm saying, hey, the background color of this button is red and the border radius is zero because we don't want the curved um, corners on this button because that doesn't match our template. Our template is pretty much you know, flat design with, with um, square corners, um, not rounded corners. The next thing is the word by now. Um, since it's, a, it's like a more of a course kind of an event or a workshop, we want to say register, not by. So I will say um, all uppercase um, register um, now. All right, and again, just, cl just click save and then we'll do a refresh on the page right now to see how it looks. Perfect, and that's our button. So I'll click it just to see how it looks. Now, if you wanna make any other you know, style changes, so for example, this was a, more of a blue by default. Um, I'll show you how to make those changes now next. So they're called CSS overrides. So if you go over to settings and then go to CSS and design edits, you basically can override all the styles that SimpleTix gives you. Um, so this is one I made just, just you know, a couple of minutes ago, basically ticket amount. Um, I'm kind of overriding that color to be um, more of a dark color, almost black, a little bit off black. And um, all right, let me show you and make another change. So for example, um, let's say we want to make this up here black as well too. So I'll right click on that. I'll go to inspect. And let's kind of figure out what the um, the CSS style is here. And it's called, um, actually, you know what? Just H2 tags alone would be sufficient, or I could also do it at the class level. Let me show you an example of that. So if I wanted to select just that one particular class, um, I can click that and I could say, you know, color, and I could do black, pure black is um, like that. Now you'll have to do something called, um, you have to put the word important in there. That way it overrides existing styles. Um, so doing that would only select show style, but we'll, we'll want to do this for all the um, H2 tags. So I will remove that particular one like this. And now, you know, for example, in the checkout page, it'll also be um, dark black too. So I'll copy that and I'll go back to the page right here and I'll paste that in as well. And then I'll click save. Now, normally when you're doing CSS edits, um, you'll have to do a hard refresh to see the difference. So that would be hitting control and refresh at the same time. 
but the way this is loaded is a little bit different. Um, and when you do the hard refresh, you might not see your change. Um, so for example, I don't see the change right here. The only way to really get it is going over to uh, more tools and go to clear browsing data and then click all your, to clear your cache this way. Um, it's kind of the old fashioned way of clearing the cache, but it's really the only way to clear it to see your design changes. Um, unfortunately, hitting control and refresh at the same time, which normally works, doesn't work in this case, um, just because of the way it's loaded. Um, so anyway, I just did, did an example. Um, I changed that H2 tag here. And if the checkout page is also using the H2 tag, you'll also see it there too. Yep. All right, let's do one more thing. Let's um, change the button color. Um, so for example, when I do this right here, I can see the button color is green. Um, let's right click on that and go to inspect. And um, let's actually change all of the buttons. Yeah, not just the checkout, let's change them all. So I'll right click, uh, sorry, cl left click on that. And then I'll go over here to um, pretty much just selecting all buttons just like that. And I'll say background color. And if I want to do black as well, I just do a little bit off black. I'll do two, two, two. And just like before, I have to say important. That way it overrides existing styles. And I want to say there's a border of um, none. And I'll also do important on that one too. And I can see here that changed the button. And if I wanted to do, you know, like zero, um, I was going to say zero button radius, you know, that corner, but let's go ahead and leave it the way it is right now. Um, actually, let's go ahead and change it. Yeah, so I'll say border radius here, border radius, and I will say zero, and I'll say important on that one too, and that will make it more of a square. Um, all right, so I will copy this one just like before, and I'll put it into my CSS overrides, so putting on the bottom of the list just like that, and then I'll click save. And just like before, I'm going to go over here and go to more tools and clear browsing data and clear all of my cache. And then I'll refresh this and take a look at it. Click register now. All right. Now, as I change all the buttons, it's going to change this over here at the login area. Um, and click checkout. And there we go. Now this is a light gray. That's just because we haven't passed all the validation steps. The person has to fill out this entire form and then this becomes enabled and it will be um, the color that we picked, which was black. All right, well, thanks for watching this video today. Um, we showed you how to you know, pretty much take a free CSS template, um, drop in our button, um, how to modify the button a little bit as well too. Um, you know, we modified the text, we modified the background color, we made it, um, you know, with, with square uh, corners, not rounded, and then we did some CSS overrides. All right, thanks for watching. Bye now.